Good morning. It is quite early. What I wanted to touch on today is, it's, it's quite a logical thing, but we don't do it. Like generally we tend to find that, you know, we get caught up in life and we, we avoid certain things. So it's purely the fact of giving your attention to something. So it might be, you know, paying the bills or something you want to create. Uh, but you, you you keep wondering why it's not happening, right? Um, and the more and more you focus on it, the more you spend time on it, the more you spend quality time on it. You know, you, you actually give it your full attention, not just in passing, okay, let's uh, just do two minutes and kind of hope that works out. But you actually spend that focused quality time digging deep into whatever you're trying to create, whatever you're trying to do. And, you know, a day later, a week later, you look back and you go, how did that happen? You know, because your mind, you, you, you forget, right? Tomorrow, it's like, but a week later, if you've consistently spent blocks of time focused, and I'm, I'm not talking about just looking at it, I'm talking about deep focus, letting those things come from within and acting upon them, taking a record of those things that come out of where? Inspiration, you know, within. Not letting them, not dismissing them, going, okay, that's just a thought, I'm just going to let it go. You actually write it down, you capture it somewhere, whether it be a book or a system that you use. As soon as it comes, you treat it like gold. It's like, whoa, yeah, that's, that's the idea I've been waiting for. And not, you know, dismissing that as, okay, I'll put it down later. I'll, I'll, I'll act on that later. Because as soon as you do that, it's gone, right? It's gone. And it's like, oh, what was that thought, that great idea that was going to change the world? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll remember it. And you may, but that was gifted to you. That was given to you at that moment in time and if you let it go it's like it's like someone offers you a job the best job in the world you know your dream job and it gives you exactly the pay you've been dreaming of and it gives you all the rewards and flexibility are you going to say no but when it comes from within, with from that silent voice that's inside of you, it's almost like we take it for granted because it's you, right? So when do we stop? When do we stop ignoring that voice? When do you stop? When do I stop? When does anyone stop? It's the question to really ask. And when do we start to honour that? and appreciate that from within and build that relationship and build that that bridge. So just like with anyone, right, the more you communicate, the more you build that bridge and, and, and offer that hand to support them, the more likely, the more open they are to want your help, the more open they are to be vulnerable. And it's no different. It is no different from within. The more and more you start listening to that inner voice, you know, the silent one, not the critique. We always, we're all too familiar with that critique that's like, you know, you're not good enough, all that stuff, why'd you do that? That one's got a loud voice. I'm talking about that 
that silent one that's there and comes out once in a while and offers a suggestion that's gold. You know, it's beyond gold. It's like infinite. It's like abundance. And you go, yeah, okay, I'll come back to that. And then you forget it. It's not that you do, you forget it. It's almost like it's ignored, so it's gone, right? So the question is, when do we start? My suggestion is, we start right now, this moment. Start digging deep. Start appreciating that. Yeah.